Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle and styling. So in today's video I want to talk to you guys about what makes a good outfit good, how to create your perfect outfit seamlessly. So I'm just going to jump right into it. For my tall ladies, I know you guys struggle with pants and tops and shoes sometimes and for my average size women you may not have the struggle <laughs> but for petite women you may have the struggle so let's jump right into it let's talk about the fit of the clothes fit is super super important guys if the fit of an item of a clothing item is not on point your entire outfit is going to look trashy okay i'm going to use the word trashy so it's important to try the stuff on make sure your shoulders are hitting right when you buy blazers, when you buy button down shirts, make sure that it's enough room for you to tuck in if it's one of those type of shirts. Make sure you have room to hug yourself if it's a blazer. Uh, make sure that your pants, if you have trousers, make sure that they fit in correctly here in the waist. If it's not, if it's too big, okay, so some of you ladies have thicker thighs, um, and I can be you. We have thicker thighs and you want to get that size and it's a little bit too snug just size up that way when they tailor it it's gonna look like it was tailored to your body that is the first thing it's the fit of the item make sure the fit is on point the second thing is the style of it so we all have different styles right so we definitely love to be creative with our fashion and our style um, we take inspiration from others and we also have our own unique style. So pick things that resonate with you and your wardrobe. You don't want to buy something that doesn't fit with your existing wardrobe and end up not wearing it. We are not in the business of what? Wasting money guys. So make sure you're looking at the style of the item. Is it something that can be interchangeable with another piece of clothing? Is it something that you can transition into another season? Um, for example, let's think about a blazer that is a wool. Let's think about a wool blazer. So a wool blazer is something that you can't necessarily wear it in multiple seasons. No, you can. You can probably wear it in fall, the beginning of the beginning of fall, right? Um, but you have a trench coat. A trench coat is something that especially one that has a lining, you can wear it winter, spring, and fall, okay? So something like that would be a great investment. So think of the style of the jacket. Is it something that's gonna be around for a long time? Is it classic? So classic things usually end up really holding up to its value and really elevating an outfit. So that's the second thing, is the style of an item. The third thing is the fabric fabric when we invest in great quality stuff it lasts us a very very long time and it also elevates your look of your outfit okay think of leather vintage leather is not the same as the leather that they have now what they have now is I don't know what that is it's it's like mixed with some stuff it's not the same I have old leather jackets that are amazing opposed to the stuff that i'm seeing now it's really not the same thing so think about the fabrics and stuff that you're buying even when it comes to denim if you're buying denim make sure that maybe one percent stretch okay because other than that once you start washing it it's like kaputs after that so keep in mind the fabric that you're purchasing cashmere is really good if you're into that um, and to be honest guys, a lot of these designers, they will sell things that's not great quality. Um, I wish I had an example for you guys, but I don't, not in this closet room situation. But um, so that is the third thing, that is fabric. And that is very, very important when it comes to creating a super perfect outfit with a great look. The fourth thing is your accessories. Your accessories is what makes your outfit creative this is where you can really go in and express yourself right from different types of belts to different types of scarves 
uh, jewelry, bracelets, anything, hats, <laughs> all that good stuff. You can take a plain outfit, you can take a plain monochrome outfit and turn it into something super chic by adding like a fierce hat and some nice accessories, right? So don't skim on your accessories. I would always recommend this to invest in them. Invest in your accessories. Now fast fashion accessories, hmm, it's okay, uh, but you know, it's not gold, so you end up wasting your money. <laughs> so I don't know if that's like the best option for you. But look at smaller brands. A lot of these small brands have really homemade um, accessories that people wear. I know for me, I have a lot of accessories from New York City from African vendors. And when I tell you, they are still in great, great condition. Do I have a pick? Yup, these earrings. I'll show you guys. Can you guys see these earrings? These earrings. I bought these. How old? How old am I? <laughs> I am exactly 41. I'll be 42. I think I bought these in my my early 30s. And the only thing I do with them is when they get a little dirty. Some people like it that way because they're brass. I just clean it with some brasso, and I'm good to go. And it's like you can either wear it a little. I guess I don't want to say dingy, but a little dull, more vintage looking, antique looking, or you can shine them up and make them look just like regular gold. Like, seriously. So think about stuff like that, invest in things like that, and get creative, find vendors that have jewelry that they make at home that you can buy. So that is number four accessory. Number five will be the silhouette. Think about how you want the clothes to fit your body. Think about your body shape. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen the series that I've been doing with the body types. Um, if you are not following me, head over there now. That's Coco Styles NY. And look at the, I did create a guide for it. So I put everything in a guide for you guys to see the, what body shape that you are. And then I also did a series of which celebrities have those body types. And I did that just so you can see how they are dressing, right? Um, you wanna pick the right silhouettes for your frame because it makes the clothes look better. It's not to say you can't wear something if you are a apple shape, right? It doesn't mean that. It's just that it looks better when you balance out the clothes on your body. So head over to my Instagram, check those posts out, save them for the future. So that is number five, the silhouette. And number six would be functionality of the clothes, right? Oh, this is where I think a lot of people kind of like forget. And we see these items, we love them, and we wear them to an event where it's not appropriate. And I don't mean like look appropriate, I mean like material-wise, right? You go to a concert, it may be hot as all heck in there, but you have on a wool blazer. Now you're sweating, your hair sweated out, no. You have to think about your where you're going to create this perfect outfit too. So all these things you take into account when creating this outfit because you wanna be comfortable in everything that you're wearing and you wanna look good in it. So that is number six, functionality. Make sure you know exactly where you're going. Plan accordingly so you can go slay, ladies. <laughs> so that's it. I just wanted to come, come and jump on here really quick and talk to you ladies about creating the perfect outfit for the day or the weekend or whatever it is but it's a perfect outfit so if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you and don't forget to follow me on instagram at coco styles ny and my website coco styles and my blog coco styles nyc.com and speak of vlog i think i'm going to move into posting an article every two weeks um, this way you guys can you know read the ones I there because I've been pumping them out once a week so I think I'm gonna move to two weeks and let me know if you guys are okay with that if not I'll push them out every week still so I will catch you guys in the next one bye